but my camera's not on, which is weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Let's wait for a few people to get in. It's not. Hold on, I'm a, I'm a go, I'm gonna come back in, and then I'm gonna reconnect. Okay. Okay. Hello. Just waiting for a few more people. Hello, hello. Salam alaikum. Okay. All right. We don't have a lot of people in here yet, so give it a second. We're going to be talking about land patents. Okay. Um, Q, I just sent you an invite. So I don't see your invite. I send you an invite. Okay, there you go. Hi, Hi. Hi. Okay, so I got like five people in here. Oh, assalamu alaikum. <laughs> My husband's in here watching. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. How are you doing? Hey, okay. So um, we're going to talk about land patents, right? I am going to basically give you guys an overview so that you guys can find your own land patent because I've been getting a lot of comments asking me how to do it or if I can do it for you. Honestly, you could do it yourself if you have the right information. So that's my goal for today to get you guys to understand it so that you can find the patent for yourself. Now, if later on you feel like this is overwhelming for you, feel free to reach out and we'll see what we can do for you. But um, let me just let you know, there are certain states that it's easier to find your patent if you live there. So uh, Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Illinois, uh, Indiana, Iowa, Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Mississippi, Ohio, and Wisconsin. Those are the easiest patents to find. I just so happen to be in Florida, just for context and letting you guys know that I'm in Florida. So, okay. um, yeah, my name is Amila. Welcome to my life. <laughs> so, quick question. What does yeah. a patent do? Like, what is what is the patent for? So, basically, um, in the 1800s, the government gave certain people uh, rewards for services, different kinds of services, whether it be, like, being in the army or whatever. And... Um, they paid them in land. I wish we got paid in land today. So yeah, they paid them in land and they issued patents to them 
um, mm-hmm. showing that the land was paid off and that, um, you know, that land was free and clear and they could mm-hmm. pass that land down to their heirs. So that's what the patents are. So the thing okay. with the patents for the most part is that the land is paid off, right? Okay. So when you buy your house and nobody's using land patents anymore, now we have deeds and you buy your house and you paid for the house, mm. um, you know, of course it's the house, but you also like paid for the land, right? Mm. But then when you have the patent, you see that the land was paid off like forever. Okay. So a lot of people are interested in getting land patents so that they can deal with different um, technicalities with their county and that kind of thing. So I'm not here to promise you that that's going to work. Mm-hmm. If you already have an interest in acquiring your land patent, I can help you acquire it. Now, as to how you're going to be using that patent, I can't really tell you how you're going to use it. It's up to you to figure out how you're going to finesse the situation so that you can use the patent, you know, to your advantage. I can help you access the documents. What you do with those documents is now, you know, up to you, up to your county, up to your situation. Um, You don't have to have anything special to access the patent. You don't have to have your house paid off to access the patent. You can have a mortgage on your house and still access it. Um, Some people access the patents for land that is abandoned. And then Mm -hmm. they go through a process of trying to claim that land because nobody else has claimed it. And I've heard stories of people actually acquiring abandoned land. You can. Using the patent, showing that, you know, this was paid off to a certain point. And then nobody has claimed it for x amount of years Mm -hmm. i'm interested in taking care of this land and then after a certain amount of time they um go ahead with the process of owning the land oh nice okay see how do we authenticate our birth certificate okay so for authentication questions that's not really something that we're going to go over tonight but quincy can help you um reach out to him he has a link in his bio He's very knowledgeable in authentications. Um, he can also help you order your birth certificate and do all of that. So you're going to want to follow him and you're going to want to click the link in his bio. But that's not something that I'm doing today. I also right. know how to do it, but I don't have the time to go over it. So he's going to be able to take care of you with that. So today we're going to be focusing on the land patents, right? So the whole thing with the land patents, I'm going to flip my camera here. Hold on a second. Let me get out of here because I've already found the patent that I'm going to be showing you guys. So let me go back to before I found it. Uh, have a flip camera. Sorry, this is my first uh, time going live. So, okay. All right. So this is the website. Okay. It's, um, it's blm.gov. You just go to blm.gov. And you're going to come to this website. Okay. So when you first go to BLM.gov, it might look a little different. Let me show you what that looks like so you don't freak out. So when you first get there, it's going to look like this. That's the right website. Um, Don't freak out. Hey, Max. So um, when you get to here, you're just going to want to find the place down here that deals with like properties and that kind of thing and eventually once you select the right thing you're going to end up here okay so this is where you want to be so this is where people freak out because they're like what is this but um i figured this all out on my own just watching videos on youtube so here you see patents right you can click patents and you can fill out the information here, um, your state. You choose the state. You choose a county. Sometimes you can find pat- patents without choosing the county. I always like to get as specific as possible and then start getting less specific so that you know I can see where I can narrow it down and where I can be a little more general. So one thing that I've noticed is sometimes when I search for a patent here, right? And I'll go and I'll click Mm. search. It won't show up. But if I put the same exact information on the survey section, and then I click search, it'll show me the patent. 
in one of the files. So let me show you how that works. So what you're going to want to do is you're seeing these numbers and everybody gets confused and they kind of give up right once they see this because they're like, what is this township range meridian section? Like, what is this? When you Don't click know. on each one, you're going to see the township is always either north or south. Okay. You're okay. going to have to figure that out. The range is either east or west. The meridian is not the same as your county. So you should know that it will give you like okay. certain things. For Florida, most of the time, it's going to be Tallahassee. Um, but you can even leave that blank. And then you have the section. So where are you getting these numbers from? And like, how are you figuring this out? So this is all coming from your county um, assessor's website. So whatever your county is, like if it's Jacksonville, you're okay. going to go to Jacksonville a County Appraiser or... Um, Tampa County appraiser or, you know, Orlando County appraiser, whatever your county is, mm -hmm. the people that you pay your taxes to, they have all the information on your land. Okay. Okay. So that's where you're going to get it. So you're going to be looking for your land plat, P-L-A-T. Your land plat comes in different forms depending on how your county does it. So, for example, this is a land plat right for land wow. in tampa right so okay. this is a up-to-date land plat okay and it has certain information now your land plat could look like this like a map a lot of them do mm -hmm. but um sometimes they have this and then they also like next to this file you'll be able to click another file that mm -hmm. has it in like a word spreadsheet uh, or Excel spreadsheet kind of form where you can just kind of look and it'll say everything. So this one is okay. a little more complicated. I wanted to use this one so that you guys see like the worst case scenario. And then if you see it in the Excel spreadsheet, it's even easier. But look at the top here, you see it has those numbers, right? So in this, it says section. Remember, it asked right. you for the section on the website. And here it says, uh, I think TWP, that's the township. It says 28, and then it mm -hmm. says south. Remember, we needed a south or north. There's a south, right? And then it says RGE, that's range. So the range is east. So now we know from east and west is going to be east. Now we're going to put these numbers into the BLM website, and we're going to try to access the patent for this particular land. Now the person that owns this already has the patent, so don't try to... Um, pull this patent it's going to be useless for you <laughs> but um i'm just using it for, as an example so i have a little reference here i already wrote everything down so in this case is going to be florida okay. right so you guys are living in florida and at the beginning i told you guys the different states that are very easy to find patents and the other ones mm -hmm. are not impossible but they're just more difficult so we're going to go to florida so how long did it take you to learn how to read all of this I did this on my own, like as a hobby on the side, like, you know, while I'm taking care of my son, honestly, I just, you, you guys can all thank Quincy for this live because I didn't think anybody cared about this. I just happened to mention like, yeah, I have my lamp patent. And he was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> right, Quincy, you were like, wait, what? Don't, people yeah, don't so have he, he was like, yeah, people need, people want to know this. And I'm like, I don't think people care about this, but uh, apparently people do because I had an overwhelming amount of comments asking for this. So here we go. So remember, you got the numbers from your land plat. Your land plat is a current, you know, document that you have on your county website. So for township, we're going to put 28 because that was what was on there, right? See, yep. they have numbers here, but you don't really need to worry about this. You can go ahead and leave the default one, right? And it was south. Okay. Okay. So remember, it was south. So then we're going to go to range. And the range, remember, it was east. And it was east 17. Okay? So we're going to click east. Meridian, um, for Florida, is always going to be Tallahassee for the most part. And then for the section, mm -hmm. it was 35. Okay, so I'm in the patent section right here. You see that? Mm -hmm. So when I tried this initially, I hit search. Okay? You leave all this stuff on the side blank. You don't really need this. Um, 
this will help you later on. Like if this doesn't work, then you're going to go to plan B. But right now we're going to stick to this. Keep it nice okay. and simple. Okay. You're going to search for patents, right? Boom. It's telling me there's no patent, right? Mm -hmm. No search found. So when I was first doing this, I was like, oh, this sucks. There's no patent. Nope. Go to survey, right? You got to kind of sit here and see what works. But since I've already done that, you guys getting this for free. <laughs> And I feel bad for nobody not in here right now, so. It's okay. Who Who's in here needs to be in here and, and uh, was destined to be in here. They'll tell people about it later on. So, <laughs> actually, definitely. you know what? Right now, everybody tap the screen, like it, so that the algorithm starts inviting Share the live. In. Send me likes. Um, send this to your friends that are interested in this. If you have any, any friends that are, you know, homeowners or want to be homeowners or just some yes. woke-ass friends, send this live to them right now. Because Send this it, is definitely. extremely valuable. So okay? if you're missing this right now. Yep. If y'all missing this information and I'm going super fast because I'm doing this while my baby is asleep. Once he wakes up, it's over. So y'all hurry up and, and write this down. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you that right now. Okay, so we're going to take that same information. I did this whole thing just to show you that sometimes it won't show up. Right? So you're going to take the, the same information. Definitely. You're going to go to survey. Okay, okay. we're going to do the same thing, right? So it was Florida. Here we go. I'm going to go to the county. In this case, it was that. Okay, township is 28. That's a part of it, Wolves. That's a part of it. Right. So remember, for if you're just getting in here, you're getting all these numbers from the county, land plat, P-L-A-T, right? Your plat could look like this. Or your plat could be a Excel spreadsheet. So you want to look at your county plat. You could even call up your county, the county um, appraiser, and ask them to walk you through finding your land plat. Now, if you tell them you want to find a patent, they're not going to be very happy about that because they make money off the taxes, and a lot of people use this to avoid taxes. So don't Maybe. give them a lot of information. You call them and you extract from them. Don't let them extract from you. Yes. All right. So we're going to go range 17. I remember it was east. There we go. Okay. So we're not going to select a specific type of sur survey. Um, usually I would go with original survey so I could get the old one, but we're not going to select anything right now. Let's just see. Okay. We're going to click this. Keep Boom. the legs going. Look. Try to, let, try to let this get out to people because I know people really want to know how to get that land patent, but like if you don't want to if you don't want to you know pay you can do it yourself there are people out here who are willing to do it themselves but you got to understand something like she's showing you right now how to do it and i'm I'm not gonna lie i'm learning right now but guys, this is, <laughs> yeah this, I, this i've is, never um i've never showed this to you so you're you're yeah. getting this in real time real time okay so look i put that in in the survey section right mm -hmm. okay here's I'm a black image Okay. Whoa. Right? So this is the old map. Look how this old map number, it matches the the plat that's current, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the updated version. Related documents. It'll also show you related documents. So now, when you go to related documents, look what's on there. You see this? It says patent now, right? It says patent, but when I just checked for a patent, it didn't show me a patent. You see that? So you had to go through the survey first in order to see if it was a so, patent? Right. So sometimes you, when you search for a patent, it'll tell you there's no patent. But if you um, search for a survey and then you click all of the stuff at the top okay. to see what's related to that survey, mm -hmm. then you'll the find a patent. Up. Now, in this case, this was... A beautiful example because there's two patents. Uh oh. Okay. There's one right here. You can see there's one from 1919 and there's one from 1889. Damn, that's far. Right? So let's take a look at what the patent looks like. So we're going to click on this one first. Okay. So this is showing you different data. Okay. This is so you could see, like, you know, southwest or southeast or whatever different things they have. But here the section is 36, right? But we were looking for mm. section 35. 
So let's see. It, it gets more specific, but let's take a look at the patent just to see what it looks like. Boom. Here's the lab patent. You go to images, okay? You go to images, and I'll show you something really cool in a second. So you go to images. Right, and it tells you who that lamp patent was issued to. Remember, I explained before how they gifted the lamp patents. Here it has the same thing: the township, everything about the 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 land. Right. Mm -hmm. So this could be matching your land right now. If you had the, the right patent, it could match your land. Now, if you have a deed with this description or a similar description, and you have the land patent, that's when you go about the process of of owning this patent along with your deed, right? So this was mm. all signed by a president. And that is, you know, this is the patent number right there. Okay? okay. And this is a government website. So they'll never say that this is not legit. This is this is them. This is their website. Yeah, this is their website. So you're going to notice a little shopping cart here. Okay? Mm. If you want to order this patent certified from them, you just go ahead and you click this. Boom. It's going to be in your shopping cart. Right here. It's going to it's gonna show up in your shopping cart. You see it? It's about $2 if you want like the, the actual like older paper or like bond paper and stuff like that. You can add stuff. It's going to have their stamps on it and everything. So getting the lamp patent is only $2. It's not expensive, but it's okay. labor intensive. I had to sit and teach myself all of this and i have I to understand imagine. it i gotta understand the maps i just showed you the map i gotta know what i'm talking about i need to you know know how to read the coordinates i need to know how to read the coordinates on the county appraisers Jesus. i need to know how to read the land description on my deed mind you i just started learning this in november there's people that have been at this for years and can't crack the code so i just did this on a whim while I'm like breastfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to keep in a thousand with you. So I just, you know, did this as a hobby out of boredom. But, um, you know, this is, this is how you find it. So remember there was two land patents. So let's go back and let's go see the other one. Cause I want to show you that sometimes they don't all look the same. So here we go. And the accession number is very important. That's how you're going to locate everything. Okay. We're going to go here. Boom. Look at this one. This one is different. This one has more, you know, handwriting. Yeah. It tells you the person's name, right? Mm -hmm. So the ones with the handwriting are a little bit, you know, harder to like read sometimes, mm -hmm. but it's fine. You see the same thing. It tells you Southeast. It tells you everything you need to know, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. You keep scrolling. You'll see that this is signed by the president. It has, it has the patent numbers at the top. Hello. It has everything that you need. Hello, hello. <laughs> Put your questions in there. I'm probably going super fast, but Quincy, if you see any good questions, so just like, you know, let me know. I'm definitely looking at, like, I'm right, right? now, my mind is just like, <laughs> you really sat down and learned all of this. And this like... one is a lot, this one says certificate. Sometimes I see new patents and I'm like, oh, that's different. The other one said patent number, right? Mm hmm. I missed the name of the website. Okay, it's blm.gov. The exact one is going to be like this. Look, glowrecords.blm.gov. But if you go to blm.gov, it's going to take you to where you need to be. When you first jump in there, it's going to be like this. So everybody, when you go to blm.gov and you see this, the Bureau of Land Management, this is the right website. It's just going to look different when you jump in there. And then once you get to the page you need to be at, then it'll look like the search section. So this is the other pet, okay? And let's just go to related documents and see. Okay, it shows those whoop. two. Remember the, whoop. look, whoop. when you go whoop. to survey again, I was going to show you four different plat images. What was the struggles when you first started reading this? Like, how did you get over the struggles of reading, you know, the coordinates and knowing how to place all this stuff together? Um, It took me two days, honestly. It was easy for me. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, it could be just because my, my county is really organized and they mm -hmm. had like all the documents. I initially came across the idea of even doing this through watching videos um, from Rob Ryder. Okay. He's an older white gentleman and he, he explains a lot of things that we do wrong when we buy a house. 
So let me tell you something. Uh, it's a little bit off topic. It has to do with your deed. When you buy a house, if you look at your deed, you will notice that your signature is not on that transaction. The two people or the one person or whomever was the seller, their signatures mm -hmm. are available on that transaction. But your signature is not. Your signature is available on like, you know, payments and stuff like that, but not on the deed. But, you know, when you do a contract, both signatures of both parties have to be involved be on a for contract. that transaction to be complete. Correct. The county sometimes takes advantage of that and they do a lot of things that are fraudulent and that's why you end up paying taxes. If you notice on your state um, constitution, a lot of the times it tells you private property cannot be taxed. But why nope. are you paying taxes? I found out that private property in Florida it's illegal for them to charge tax, but they yep. have been charging me tax, but they got me fucked up because I want my <laughs> job now. You know, um, I'm not taking the route of using the patent to get out of taxes, although I've heard people um, have been able to do that. In my particular case, I'm going to be taking, yeah, they're laughing. I'm going to be <laughs> taking um, the route of claiming this patent and transferring it to a foreign trust. Okay, so I'm worrying. I'm I'm wor working on getting a solid foreign trust so that nothing in that trust can be taxed. So that's right. what I'm doing right now. But if you want to go the land patent route, you can. But either way, whether you go the trust route or the patent route, if your land just so happens to be mentioned on a patent, go ahead and try to get that patent updated because that's what it's called. You update the patent with your name instead of these people. Mm -hmm. Okay, patent details, here you go. It'll have other information. Okay, and another thing to remember, before the land patents um, were for a large chunk of land. So let's say you have land, Let's use this, right? This is the land plan. Let's say your your house is number 42. Mm -hmm. That means that that land patent is for you and all of your neighbors. Now, that's not a problem. You and all your neighbors could go down and get the land patent updated with your information. But you know the word parcel, right? When you Partially. go to your, to your county, it's going to say... Your parcel number, because your house is a part and parcel of the larger land. Land. Right? So that's your slice of land. So what you're going to do is you're going to have that updated, and it's going to mention your parcel of that patent. So you're going to be the owner of that patent, but it's going to have a specific... Um, Number section where it you. mentions your slice of that land from that patent. What's up? That patent is still yours, but it's going to be a little more specific because before when they gave people land, they gave them acres. Now they're giving them these little slices and it's getting smaller by the day. It is. You know, so, you know, it you is. don't want to impose on your neighbor. They're, they're also the owner of that patent, but you have your parcel and they have their parcel. Ideally, if we could all get our shit together, we would buy the whole block and we'd all use that patent and help each other. Basically. That's what we would love to do. But that's just, you know, not how things are at this moment. This is why I'm giving you guys this information for the free, you know, on live, on TikTok, because I want you guys to empower yourselves and have this information. Let's go. So... This so, is the website. So, this is all you need. It's not rocket science. I know it seems confusing. Later on, if you have any issues, you could come to me. But look, you just need to get your county, get your state. You know your state. That's an easy question. You know your county. Easy question. Get your township. Get your range. It's going to say north or south for the township. It's going to say east or west for the range. After that, mm -hmm. you're pretty much good. You're going to okay. be able to find what you need. And you just put your information. If you know your information is right, something has to pop up if you're in mm -hmm. one of those states. So let me just go ahead and say those states again. 
if you're not in so, one of these states, before you get it there, does so, not mean that your patent is not on here. It just means that it's easier to find your patent with these states. So it's going to be Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Mississippi, Ohio, and Wisconsin. If you're in any of those states, there is no excuse. Get your patent ASAP. So if what you're, you're saying Florida, is, so when you, when you, you go definitely through, have your patent. So when you go search on a BLM website and you go under patent and nothing pops up, the next step is to go under. So if, if you go under patent, something can pop up, right? Something okay. can. So when I got my patent, it, I believe it popped up on patent, but it doesn't always pop up on patent. So take that same information. Look, because they're asking you the same thing. Township range, you know, Meridian. The Meridian is going to be one of these three. Don't think that the Meridian has to match your county because, you know, people have that misconception. So you're going to okay. go here. And you're going to put that same information in there. Search. Go to go to all the little tabs here, right? You can search by document. If you know the, the document number, you can mm -hmm. go there. There's all kinds of little things for you to, you know, click on. If you dedicate an hour to, to spend on this website and you have your information, you should okay. be able to find what you need. Wow. Here's another one. And sometimes it takes a while for the patent to load. I'm like, I put that one on TikTok. Uh, when the patent is <laughs> I remember that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Do you guys have any questions? Let me know if you have any questions. The most so important thing is your land plat. A lot of people own land and never seen their plat because they, they don't know to ask for it. So what about New York and New Jersey, Delaware? You could find it on here. You could totally find it on here. I'm from New York. Actually, I'm from the Bronx. A lot of people think that I'm Arab or whatever, but I'm not. I'm actually Latina. <laughs> <laughs> so I speak Spanish. If you got somebody that wants their land patent and they need me to hablar en español, yo también hablo español, no hay problema, yo te ayudo, no hay nada. I speak a little bit of Bangla and a little bit of Arabic too. <laughs> You're in Maryland. Maryland, go ahead. Get your information. Put it in here. Put it in here. It'd be taking a while to load, but... um. Here, let's go back to this one. What I do know about New York, New York isn't considered a state, so it's going to be just a little bit harder for New York because it's considered as a nation. So it might be a little bit harder trying to find your land patent in New York. I will yeah, say that. so it might be different. California, go ahead and get your information from, from your county and just put it in there. What is the purpose of this? So I can't answer that for you specifically. It depends on what you're trying to accomplish. So for me... Correct. I'm trying to accomplish taking ownership of the patent and transferring it to my trust. So, for example, for this one, right? This patent was issued to this person, right? Mm -hmm. But look at the year, 1862, okay? That person is gone. Their family yes. probably don't even know anything about this. So if I own this land here, right? If this mm -hmm. description matches the land that I own and I'm living on, then this should belong to me. Mm. Right? This should belong to me because this matches my deed. I have my deed and my deed and this match, then the patent should belong to me. So that's what you're going to try to do. You're going to try to make um, the patent and the deed match up. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm transferring all of this to my trust. So some people use the patent and just go to the county and try to, you know, get everything recorded and try to get off of the tax roll because we don't want to be paying taxes for land that we own. It's ridiculous. Really, your land should be private property. It should be. But the yes. county always finds a way to finesse and make your property public property. That's right. If I take your address and put it in the county website for your county, I can see your name. I can see how much you paid for your house. I can see pictures of your house. I can see who's on the deed, who's not on the deed. That looks pretty public to me. Yeah. And a lot okay. of times I'm, I'm learning that when it comes to getting everything recorded, I would want to start dealing with the sheriff. So if they're not recording your information, I would send a uh, letter out. Can you do this? for the land that your house is sitting on. So you should do it for a land that you have a claim to. 
otherwise um you you would have to do it for abandoned land so yes for the person that's asking about abandoned property yes you could do this for abandoned property and you can try to take ownership you can definitely do that now you do not want to do this if you know somebody is sitting on that land you don't want to take land from people because they have been paying their mortgage on their land or they paid you know for for that land outright or whatever so you don't want to be going to court trying to fight people that actually paid for the land Correct. Even though it was all done in fraud, you know, on the county level, but those people are going to be like, this person came out of nowhere. So you don't want to do that. If you have a home sitting on this land that you are actively paying for, or it's just abandoned land and you want to claim it, then go for it. You know, like I told you, once you find the patent, you add it to cart. Okay. We already did that. I showed you guys right here. A lot of people think that all this process is very expensive. Look at that. It's $2. Okay, so let's click it. Here we go. We're going to go and we're going to go to checkout, right? So then they have little fees and stuff that they, they um, add later on. So you can do plain paper or you can do like bond paper, right? Parchment paper. I choose parchment paper every time because it looks more official. It does. Okay. They will mail this to your house, certified, stamped with government seals and all types of shit. They will do that for you. This is public information. You are entitled to this, okay? Right. You don't have to have any type of special anything to do this. It's $2. As far as authentication, somebody asked in the beginning, people think authentication is really complicated and expensive. It's not. A lot of the times, it's, it's all county stuff. The same thing like this is county stuff. On the county level, it's 10 bucks. On the federal level, it's now $20. It used to be 8 So the prices are going up. You need to go Faster. ahead and get all your paperwork together immediately. If you have not got your birth certificate authenticated, that has you know nothing to do with this particularly, but you need to do that. So reach out to Quincy. He knows how to authenticate your birth certificate. If you're having issues ordering your birth certificate, you don't know which one you should have, the long form or the short form and all of that, reach out to Quincy. There's a link in his bio. Just click it. He does consultations. He'll be able to help you. If you need to access me, honestly, he probably could access me faster going through his link too. Because I don't really, <laughs> I don't really answer yeah. the comments. I'll be busy. I have, a, I have a toddler and, you know, I'll be busy all the time. This is actually like a hobby of mine. Let me see. As indigenous. Actually, so... For people that are indigenous and they have, who is Quincy? Oh, Quincy is the individual right there at the bottom, right there. Sorry. Hey, see, King Q. Sorry. I say Quincy because I know his name. But uh, King Q, reach out to him. He'll be able to help you with all that stuff. Um, so if you are indigenous and you know that your family has some kind of rights to that land, you yes. definitely want to get that patent. You want to yes. start tracing it to your family, right? And you can actually go this route or you can even go through like ancestry to access patents and old documents and things like that so i'm actually an indigenous as well but my tribe is attached to this land but it's not in florida so yes uh for the person asking yes king q king q is quincy okay king q so reach out to him he has a link in his bio he'll be able to help you it's, so it's if me. you're indigenous, my, you definitely want to go this route. My, my tribe was um, on a land that is now the edge of Nicaragua, which is like three hours from here where I'm living right now um, in a flight, which is not even far from here. It's still attached, but it's not considered America right now. So I really can't do much with it. Um, if you have any ancestral traces, if you are native or... Um, a lot of people, they, they think they're black, but they're not. They're actually not. native. If you find out later on that you're not, you know, quote unquote black, which doesn't really exist. I don't know if you guys know. If you're black on paper, that means you're dead. There are yeah. no black people. You're either None. indigenous or African or something else, but you are not black. Black people don't exist. That's a color. If you're black on paper, you are deceased. That's right. But if you are indigenous of any sort, you need to figure out, you know, what tribe you're from and try to see where you can trace land back to your ancestors. This land belongs to melanated people, however you want to twist it, turn it, whatever. 
this land belongs to melanated people. But these people here were giving our land to their family that belongs to us. We can't access the original tribal documents, but if we can access these old documents, it's a start. I can't tell you I have all the answers, but I'll lead you to, to, to the point where, you know, I'm at at least. And then after that, you guys can, you know, do your due diligence. I just started this process a few months ago, but I'm here and I'm sharing with you guys. But go so check when you get to page. the website initially, you can see all of it, how she got the deed acknowledged. Stuff. Click around, spend some time on this website. Look, old maps, they have track records, land record status, track books. They have a lot of information on this website. Yes. And if you guys want to know what it looks like as far as getting the deed acknowledged or anything like that, scroll down our page. You can see what and it look, looks like. So this is old, right? This is old, but look right here where it says canceled. What does it say? It says no. no. It has not been canceled. It, is it still has active. not been canceled. To be honest with you, I have looked at several patents on this website and I have not come across one where it says it has been canceled. This is an active patent. This is an yeah. active patent. But this family has clearly not been making a claim to this. Otherwise, you wouldn't have purchased the house on it. Nope. It wouldn't even be up for sale. Exactly. So get <laughs> your patent. Get ready. Site going to be vanished or updated. $2. <laughs> There's no excuse. Just put in the work and get your patent. You might see that there's several patents. So in that case, you're going to come to the alicos. <laughs> and you're going to try to figure out which one word. matches you better. Okay? Which one which one matches your plats the best? Your plats going to say everything that you need to know, okay? It's either going to be in this form or it's going to be in a spreadsheet form. If you're very lucky, it will have both. Let me see. We got some questions. You're search your Let me know what, what questions they have. So they say, do you search your family name or do you search or do you search for property you live on? So there's people if you know that if you know that um your family has a claim to the land, you can search with the name. Okay, but a lot of people don't have that. Um, you see where it says names? Mm -hmm. So some people put their family name in here, click search. They don't see anything and they're like, oh, you know, it's over. Okay. So if you want to go that route, you could put, let's say, Florida, right? Just click on my page and hit follow. When you She's talking about me, guys, in the video. I'm literally like right here. <laughs> yeah, he's there at the bottom. When I say Quincy, I'm talking about King Q. Everybody follow him. Um, he's the reason why I'm doing this. I didn't think anybody cared about it. But um, apparently people do. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> yeah. So let's say you go to Florida and you go to like Osceola and you put here like, I don't know. Let's put my last name. My last name is Vilches. Okay. Okay. You put the last name. Most of the time you want to use the last name. The first name is not really going to help you. And you click search. Nothing found. Okay. A lot of the time the, the name is not going to help you too much without this information. You're going to need something from here. If you don't have anything from here, but you know your family has land in this county or whatever, you could start playing around in this section. So look, here it has tribe, right? Look, Swiss and Winnebago. Mm. Look, there's tribe names on here because I put this county. And if you're in Florida, you already know that this is native land. It is. Osceola and a lot of these different names are all tribal names. Boom. It gave me tribes. So if you put your county here or if you even don't put a county here, right? It might give you more tribes. Let's try that. Okay. It gave me the same amount of tribes because I put Florida. You could choose a tribe.
He's frozen. So it's not going to work. Remember, go to survey and do the same thing. And if you got to choose something from the survey section here, choose something that you know is going to work. Like if you know what it is or choose original survey, that's going to give you all the oldest stuff. Boom. Look at that. I didn't even put anything in there. Did you guys see that? Just look at that. Florida and I put a tribe and look at all of these land plats. And we already know that when it says you king see is survey, awake. Huh? It says king Happy? is awake. King is awake. Yeah. Got me. Go ahead. I don't even see that. Oh. <laughs> okay. I understand. <laughs> okay, so um, that means my baby's awake. Okay. So, all right, let's click on one of these, right? Look. Look at that. An oh, old map. Now you can start looking and seeing if any of this matches. What is the website? I missed the website. Okay, here's a website. Screenshot. Everybody screenshot. This is the website. I'm going to have to get off pretty soon. So if you guys have questions, hurry up and ask. This is the first time that I go live. How do we connect to Quincy? Quincy is the individual at the bottom of the screen that is King Q. He has a link in his bio. Click the link in his bio. And he'll help you with authentications and all that kind of stuff. The land patents and that is, is more of my thing, but... um. He's very knowledgeable in other things. So you click and just, you know, chat with him, contact him and see where he can help you. He does authentications and all of that. Okay, look. And then you go to related documents. Just click around. Look at all these documents. Look at this. This <laughs> might, look, Anderson, Richard, like this might be one of your family members. If you are native, look at how many pages. There's 15 pages. This 15 pages. Look, Black Jeez. Davis. This could be your, one of your family. Look, Bell. Look, all of these names. Look, Brooks. Come on, man. Bush. This could be your family. If this you is know, like the 1800s. George W. Bush. Look at this. Hey, like, yo. you never know. If you know your family is native, you could figure this out. And you could definitely, you know... Find your tribe and find that patent and then start tracing things back. You might have to move somebody off that land that bought that house and buy them out and take that whole land back if you are really native and you have a claim to that land. Look at Said your phone was Samuel. Cool. And this is just me. You saw that. I didn't put anything specific. But if you have your specific coordinates, and like in this case, you can definitely find your pet. Please definitely, go on definitely. more, Reach out. live more. Yeah, this is my first time going on live. I told you guys I didn't think anybody cared about this. It was Quincy, King Q at the bottom there that told me, you know, I should continue um, speaking You're about this. <laughs> and not only this, I will do another live and talk about the MSO, the, the certificate of origin for your car. Do you know that there's a birth certificate for your car? Hey, girl. Pretty things. <laughs> I'm about to get off. You're a little late, but you know, uh, thank you for coming. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the website. Everybody take a screenshot to get your land patent. Okay? Click the link in my bio if you want to book a class. I will let her know if that's the fastest way to reach out to her. You have images here. Don't let the, the patent words scare you away. Go to the survey section. Let's go back for the people that just came in. I found a land patent live on here while everyone was watching. This is one of the patents that I found. I found two, but this is one of the ones that I found. Okay. Using information from the land plat from the county of your property. Okay. See this description. Is going to be on your land flat. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, she forgot. It's all right. Yeah, the MSO, so the Manufacturer Certificate of Origin, 
or the manufacturer's statement of origin. I got those for the vehicles as, as well. And that's just something that I found on my own. The, the juice is there. Y'all gotta go, y'all gotta get a cup of something. <laughs> like... <laughs> All right. So you you guys damn it, I'm up to almost 250. I went over a lot in the beginning. So if you guys missed it, here's a quick recap. This is the information. You guys might want to screenshot it. Sh shot this, okay? This is the information screenshot. for the actual company, right? This is a government company. They're actually located in Virginia. But um, the funny thing is, if you're looking for a patent in Virginia, it's pretty difficult to find because I just <laughs> had somebody, my first client, it was very difficult to locate a patent for Virginia. But if you are in any of these other states that you see here, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, then there's no excuse. You need to jump on here and get your patent. If you're in California or New York or there whatever, go. go ahead and try it. Just get the information. So you're going to get these type of documents from your county. It's your land plat. Okay? As far as the MSO, the manufacturer's certificate of origin or the manufacturer's statement of origin, that's for your car. That's something else that I also do. Everybody go through my TikTok post and see the different things that I get into. This is just a hobby of mine. I'm just, I just like to find titles and patents and whatever. I like to know that I really have ownership. I don't like to share. I like when if something is mine, I'm claiming that that's mine and I need the highest title. <laughs> that's just my personality. <laughs> that's it. It's over. So in this case, I found two patents for that one land plat. Okay. Here was that first one. And let's go see the other one. Here is the other one. The one with the handwriting. In this mm. case, for this land plat, this one fit the bill more than the other one. I'm just showing you both. But these patents are on here. Free game. Free game. Ain't nobody here free for game. the free game. Because once <laughs> we gone, it's not free no more. <laughs> yep. On another note, on a completely different note, just because I have to give my shameless plug. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Shameless plug. <laughs> I'm actually an esthetician. This is my website, and I sell <laughs> products as well. So if you want to support me, I have black seed oil, I have argan yes. oil, I have facial oils that have 24 karat gold, I have facial rollers, I have cuticle oils. So there's a link for this in my bio. Because this is what I, I do, it. but apparently, um, apparently I'm good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Good yeah, things. so this this is just a hobby, but apparently I'm really good at this, cause uh, yeah. But this is actually what I do. Um, so if you guys want to support me, there's a link in my bio. If you guys want to reach out to Quincy, there's a link in his bio. Quincy is the, the individual at the bottom of the screen, King Q. Um, everybody, make sure to follow him. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go. I hope you guys learned something. Hit the follow. Um, Go down her page. Yes, look please, at the MSO. please follow. And you guys have a really good night. Here's the website one more time. Screenshot it. And I'm out of here. <laughs> Salam alaikum. You guys alaykum. have a good one.